Coming up, what are the consequences of removing chaparral for fire control? Another complex issue is mastication and the removal of chaparral from the landscape. Mastication can be valuable for creating defensible space and fuel breaks to help firefighters protect homes, but scientists are trying to analyze its potential trade-offs. The problem is that fuel breaks often don't stop fires in progress, particularly under really high wind conditions and when the fuel is really dry. Our research has put some numbers and statistics behind this and we're showing that fuel breaks really don't stop fires under these strong and severe weather conditions. They really only work when firefighters are present or under mild weather conditions. There are other questions about the effectiveness of chaparral removal because non-native weeds move in, which are much more flammable. Combined with drier conditions due to climate change and more frequent fire ignitions due to people, these weeds may lead to a longer fire season. At the same time, native wildlife habitat is eliminated. The scientists continue to study how to balance the impact of chaparral removal and the necessity of fuel treatments. <laughs> 